Hi, it's Anika from Living for Later. In my previous video, parenting video, I spoke about how one of my children had disobeyed me and turned on a bathroom pipe that was broken and it was difficult to turn it off. And if you want to hear more about the story, you can click on the link above. But what I really want to talk about today is that I realized that there had to be a consequence for that behavior, for the disobedience. Because if we're not careful as parents, we can train our children to disobey us. What am I talking about? Well, if there aren't consequences for disobedience, what you're really saying is your disobedience is okay. So for this particular child, she was really looking for different ways to earn money because she wants to save up for something. So I explained to her, because we had the pipe going and the water running for a very long time, that's going to impact our water bill. So because you disobeyed, I'm going to have to take some of your money, right? Because I wanted her to make the connection. And while that sounds mean, I'm really doing this to benefit her in the long run. Because the next time she's going to think about disobeying, I'm praying that she would remember, she will remember that there's a consequence. So as parents, we have to be careful that we're not just saying, telling our children to do things and when they don't do it, we always give them a free pass. Because guess what? The scriptures even tell us in Hebrews 6 that God disciplines those whom he loves. And then you go back, I did another video on this some time ago where in Proverbs it talks about, you know what, I hate my child if I don't discipline them. Because discipline serves a purpose. Consequences for disobedience, it serves a purpose. It's not just about, oh, I just want to be a mean parent. Well, I am, it's more, I am a loving parent and I want to stop you from going down the path of disobedience. So this right here, the discipline is kind of like a warning sign, like stop, don't continue to go down this path, turn around. And I think about again how god himself disciplines us and there is a purpose behind the discipline listen to what it says in hebrews 6. it says verse hebrews 6 verse 11 it says no discipline seems unpleasant at the time but it's painful when she heard she was losing some money it was painful for her but listen to this later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. So a part of me training my child is also me disciplining them, right? Discipline is a part of training. And I see so many parents as believers just really um, being shy to the idea of disciplining their child because they read what the psychologist said and it's, you know, just the age of just, oh, just let them be. Well when you let them be and there's no discipline attached, they become like a monster, right? They Children have to be trained. We, when left to ourselves and when we are not disciplined, we all have that bent, right, as sinful creatures to go wild. So uh, I, I want to encourage parents to allow the Bible to be the manual for how you raise your child and not the newest psychology book that's out there. And while that can be helpful, make sure that whatever you read, that you decipher it, through, or not decipher it, but that you filter it through the word of God and what's being said in the word of God. So don't train your children to disobey you by not disciplining them um, and not giving consequences for their disobedience. Use the word of God as your guide and know again that when you discipline, it, it should come from a place of love and not don't view yourself as being a mean parent. You are a loving parent, actually, when you discipline them. Because in the end, it's going to be of benefit to both you and to the child. All right, you be blessed.